Hey guys, how are you? This is Steve Fuchs. I'm your instructor and I wanted to go over a couple of things with you guys. First off, if you have any problems with anything, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Don't fall off the board. Kids get sick. They change your hours at work. Uh, In-laws came by. Outlaws won't leave. Car, the transmission fell out. Pick up the phone. Call me. Email me. Let me know something's up. I'm not prying into your life. Let me know something's up. We can work something out, okay? Now, to me, the discussions are the heart of the course. While they might not be worth as many points as your written assignments, they are where much of the learning can go on. So, go through your assigned readings for the week, and then look at the topics that we're going to be doing in the discussions, okay? And what you're in there, you're going to see that, let's say the topic is stew. Silly one, but let's run with it. So, we're talking about Stu and little Joey. We're just making up these names. Joey gets in and says, yeah, Stu is a mixture of meat, broth, and vegetables. Great. And then Amy gets on and says, you know, you can, there are many types of vegetables, carrots, potatoes, turnips, parsley, blah, blah, blah. And then Harry gets in and says, you know, so you mentioned the potato. Did you realize that when the Spaniards got to Peru, there were 72 types of potatoes. They took them back to Europe. They flourished there. And that basically there are three, three times as many calories in an acre of potatoes as there is in grain, which helped cut down on death rates and famine. Nice. And then four days later, somebody else gets back in and goes, oh man, I got a post and goes, stew is a mixture of potatoes, vegetables, and broth. Well, does that, does that contribute to anything? It's not a short answer test where we all slap the same thing in there. Columbus landed 1492. No, it's a conversation as much as possible, right? So take what someone else has had, take a topic that they mentioned and run with it. Make it yours. We're at a round table. You know, when we're sitting around the table Thanksgiving and grandma has two scotches and tells you the same story she said 20 minutes earlier, do you want the discussions to turn into that? God knows I don't, all right? So don't go in there, hey, great, great post, Joe. I really think that was wonderful. I agree. That's what is that? That's like you just trying to get yourself in there, right? Uh, 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 not with me, baby. So here's what we're going to do. Let's say we're talking about Miranda, just making up a topic, and someone goes, you know, statements can be thrown out if the police don't Mirandize someone before they interrogate him. And then you get in and you say, yeah, but be careful with that, because if they don't interrogate you, they don't have to Mirandize you, because let's say they were reading off your the pedigree on the arrest form. What's your name? Where do you live? What's your social security number? You don't have to Mirandize them for that. You see how we're building on one another, adding and adding on to things? So read other people's work. I love opinions. <clears throat> opinions are great. There's a thing called kitchen table politics, and this is what I had an old professor tell me about this. Kitchen table politics is when you sat around the kitchen table as a little kid, and everything your parents and your grandparents and your Aunt Sally said, you took as being true. And in fact, it might not be, which is great to find out because that's what we're about, right? So give me your opinions and then back it up with research. Say, listen, I think this, that, and the other thing. I saw a research piece that said 17% of this did 18% of that. Beautiful. You backed it up with verifiable research, okay? Confirm it. Back it up. Validate it, all right? Don't cut, and in your papers, don't cut and paste giant swaths of material. I don't want to read what somebody else on a website wrote. I want to see what you say. And even if it's not perfect, I want it to be you. So, you found something out. Think about what you read, and then just talk to me. In your papers, just talk to me as if I was 17 years old and I knew nothing about the topic. Okay, you explain it to me. All right. Like I said, I love the discussions. Bring me something new to the table. Share information with the rest of us. Don't repeat anybody. No reiterations, no rehash. All right. I know some people, know, but many other people are really good and they really run with these things. Okay. Massage the information. Talk to us. Don't cut and paste lots of information in there. And like I said before, any problems? Any questions, anytime, you give me a call and I'll answer the phone. If not, you can talk to my secretary. That's right. For those of you who remember Progressive Rock from the early 70s, this is the Court of the Crimson King. So you can see I do have a sense of humor. All right? Guys, look forward to it. Hang tough. Give me a buzz if you have any problems. All right? Okay, bye.